we're all looking for something. We're all looking for hope. Hope you can't just have just because you were born with hope. No, we're born with pain. We're born and live through difficulties. And in our life, my parents always taught me that even though we don't know why I was born this way, that we have a choice. Either to be angry for what we don't have, or be thankful for what we do. We all have this negative self-talk that goes in our head. Guess what? There's enough people that are telling us we can't do it, that we're not good enough. Why do we want to tell ourselves that? We know for a fact that thoughts influence actions. We saw it there with the, um, with the video Sheldon, Dr. Levy showed, right? We know that our thoughts influence actions. Why do we want to say that negative self-talk to ourselves? We need to get our own self-affirmations. Muhammad Ali, what was his self-affirmation? I am the greatest. Who else is gonna tell you? There need to be quiet moments in your bedroom, quiet moments when you're brushing your teeth that we need to reaffirm I am the captain of my ship and the master of my fate. That is my affirmation. The world is a hurting place and the world needs hope. The world needs love. Without hope, we feel like, why are we here? And looking forward to a time that I would feel good again helped me to keep moving forward. And sometimes I had to be brave. And it wasn't always easy. Sometimes I faltered, I had bad days. But I realized that being brave isn't supposed to be easy. And for me, I feel it's the key way to keep moving forward. So, all in all, I don't waste energy feeling bad for myself. Uh, I surround myself with people that I want to be with, and I keep moving forward. So with this philosophy, I hope that all of you, regardless of your obstacles, can have a very happy life as well. But I am the captain of my ship and the master of my fate. If I don't say it, if I don't believe it, no one else will. How do you build self-confidence? Get away from the people who will tear you down. There's enough of that. Muhammad Ali, I am the greatest. There is no one better than me. It's a difference between hubris and ego and false pride. It's just reminding yourself in quiet, silent moments Every single human being has value and my value is not determined on how I look or what job I have or where I'm from, where I was born, how much money, all that stuff, nothing. Never believe a prediction that doesn't empower you. How many predictions have been thrown at you your whole life? If you believe predictions that do not empower you, you will wither away and die. Either physically die or your spirit will die as you just walk around the world like a carcass that is just following the masses. You will be given a lot of titles in your life. You will be told so many different things. You must only listen to that which empowers you. You gotta to come to the truth of knowing who you are and why you're here. William Barclay, he said, the greatest two days in anyone's life, the day you were born and the day you knew.